We love food, colored green, bell peppers, and long string beans. Pickles, celery, cucumbers, too. All these foods are good for you. Welcome to Storytime Cooks, as we continue to learn about food through books. Easter is almost here, and often we think of bunny rabbits when we think of Easter. This story is published by um, Playmore and Company. It's a creative child press book. So let's read about these cute little bunnies. And this bunny has something that some of us might like. Do any of you know what this is? It's orange, and it's long, and it's skinny. Let's see if we can find out. See the fluffy bunnies. They love to play all day. Bunnies come in lots of colors. Some are white, and some are black, and some are brown. Just like us, bunnies are all different, but we're all really special, just like those bunnies. Bunnies have long ears, and they have puffy tails. I really like their tails. They look like they would feel so good. Bunnies have nests made of grass. The grass is soft and sweet. Most bunnies do live outside. Some bunnies live on farms, and they make their homes in tree trunks. Bunnies can live in the woods. They dig long holes to make their homes. I have some bunnies in my yard. Bunnies have long, strong free feet that help them jump very far. So that might be something you would like to do. You can pretend that you're a bunny and see how far you can jump. Bunnies have long whiskers. Sometimes their little nose twitches. Bunnies eat green vegetables. They like lettuce and celery. But best of all, bunnies like carrots. Bunnies eat their carrots every day. And you can see there's some lettuce and some cabbage and lots of carrots in this garden. This bunny thinks it has really found a great place to live because it's got all kinds of things the bunny likes to eat. Some bunnies do live in houses like we do because bunnies can be pets. Bye bye bunny. I hope I see you again soon. Well, today we have made a bunny, and we made our bunny out of an egg. We took a hard-boiled egg, and we sliced it to make its body and its head and its ears. And then we took some little baby carrots and sliced those in half. And to make it look like it had a top on it still, we put some rosemary on there. And this time of year is a great time to plant some herbs in your garden. And rosemary might be something that you would like to plant. It's really not one that I eat a lot of, but I really do like the way that it smells. And it is fun to watch it grow. One other thing about carrots that I've noticed is often the carrots that are sold individually in, um, at the grocery store are less expensive than those that you buy in the bag. So check out the prices, and it might be that you can pick your own carrots out and get as many as you want for less per pound than what a bag of carrots would be at the grocery store. Often the baby carrots, kids will eat a little bit better, but regular carrots can be cut into little pieces that work just fine. If you have small children, it is a good idea to cut those carrots in half so that you don't have round circles, which might be more of a choking hazard. So just make sure you cut them in small pieces. And actually, cooked carrots would be a safer thing for those younger kids. So you can have fun orange foods at Easter time. You can have all those green foods. Or you could decorate some eggs with lots of different colors to make it be even more beautiful. But this would be a good thing to do if you had some hard-boiled eggs that you had decorated for Easter. As long as you've kept them in the refrigerator, they're safe to eat, and that would be a way that you could make a fun Easter treat. Thank you for joining us for Storytime Cooks, and we hope you'll come back again as we continue to learn about food through books. We love
love food.